there were actually strikes in the Rafah area by Israel, airstrikes overnight. And then today we've got the news that troops have moved into the Rafah crossing area. And that's the first time uh, since the, the war broke out, since, Ham since Hamas attacked Israel back in October. And they've secured that crossing and they've blocked it off. And so that means that no aid uh, or people can move back and forth between that. And that is the conduit between Egypt and Gaza and has been a major uh, port of operation for aid to go into. Gaza in recent months. It's not the only crossing into Gaza, but there's only a few. Um, and, you know, they've been pretty troubled throughout. And so it's really going to raise questions about the flow of aid into Gaza. It also points to the fact that Israel is very determined um, to push ahead with some sort of offensive in, in Rafa, whether that's within weeks or days or whatever, they're making preparations for it. And so they're picking up their activity there. Um, and that's really a sign that despite the, the, the talks that are still going to go on towards a ceasefire, that Israel sees its primary goal as, as going into Rafa at some point. Yeah, absolutely. Um, those uh, negotiations expected to continue today. What do we know about the ceasefire proposal and a possible deal, um, you know, talks of Hamas backing a deal and, and a rebuttal from Israel. Well, we know that Hamas had accepted the deal that was proposed by Qatar and Egypt, and of course facilitated also by the US, and Israel says that's not good enough. And it seems to be a continuation of, of disagreement over fairly minor wording in the end, but it's really about what this deal might mean in terms of setting the pathway for a full end to the war. Hamas wants it to be a pathway to an end to the war. Israel wants to prevaricate on that because they want to have the option to keep fighting if needed, and it's really about the language that that might bake into that agreement at this point. I mean, Israel says they will show up for further talks, but they've also said that's going to be on the same track as they continue their preparations for Rafah. And so for the US and Europe and Qatar and Egypt and others, it's really about a matter of time. They're racing the clock here to try and get a deal um, sealed on before Israel does proceed with Rafah. Well, there is that incredible pressure on Israel, but as also have we seen throughout, you've seen Benjamin Netanyahu, you've seen other members of the leadership, the war cabinet and so on, really saying uh, they're undeterred because they see their goals as being ultimately two things. One is to try and get the release of the remaining Israeli hostages, but also they don't want to be in a position where they feel vulnerable to Hamas again and that's a really existential thing for israel and so despite the many phone calls again a phone call yesterday uh, yet again with the u.s president joe biden and israeli prime minister benjamin netanyahu where joe biden said if you go into rafa it's a full offensive with civilians at stake that's a mistake he said to him those words it is quote a mistake uh, but the rhetoric from israel doesn't change